guys remember the dance? There it is. The dance we have. Gravitational kinetic, gravitational kinetic, gravitational kinetic, gravitational kinetic, just keep going back and forth. But in, in addition to that, you also have position one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. If you look, we have simple harmonic motion. So one example of simple harmonic motion we've had so far in the class is a mass spring system, but we now have simple harmonic motion of a pendulum. So a pendulum is in simple harmonic motion. Here is the pendulum. Here is the equilibrium position. Now, in order to be in simple harmonic motion, you need a restoring force. A restoring force has two qualities. One, it is always toward the equilibrium position. And two, it is proportional to the displacement from the equilibrium position. So here is the mass. Here is the equilibrium position. What is the restoring force for a pendulum? The restoring restoring force for a pendulum. Uh, That's okay. We have other drivers at the moment. We'll go with that. Mitch. Uh, gravity. I'm sorry. They, he said gravity. Is that clear to you? What he means by that? I don't know right there. The acceleration due to gravity. Well, the acceleration due to gravity is not a force. Right? The force of gravity. Okay. So, the force of gravity. Remember, there were two things. One, it has to be toward the equilibrium position. It has to be proportional to the displacement from the equilibrium position. The force of gravity, class, does it change as a function of position? No, it's mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So, it's not proportional to the displacement from equilibrium position. In addition, the force of gravity is straight down. So it's not pointed toward the equilibrium position. Okay. So the force of gravity is not quite the restoring force. Josh. Actually, remember, centripetal force is not a new force, so it, it, it can't be the centripetal force. Now, it is a component of the force of gravity, so it's part of the force of gravity. If we break the force of gravity into its components, we have the force of gravity parallel to the motion and we have the force of gravity perpendicular to the motion. And it turns out that the force of gravity parallel is the restoring force for a pendulum <coughs> of harmonic motion. So it's the force of gravity in the parallel direction. Now, that force of gravity parallel, notice it's almost pointed toward the equilibrium position. And in fact, the farther you get away from the equilibrium position, the farther away the force of gravity parallel is pointed away from the equilibrium position. So it turns out that the force of gravity parallel is only a restoring force if the theta is considered a small angle. So a pendulum is in simple harmonic motion if the theta maximum is less than or equal to 15 degrees. So because the restoring force is the force of gravity parallel, and the force of gravity parallel is really only pointed toward the equilibrium position as long as theta is about 15 degrees or less, it's only in simple harmonic motion if that angle is less than 15. 